stay hydrated. for another Monday video. It is a bit echoey in here. Welcome to my gym in New Jersey. A few of you guys wanted me to post another workout video. If you haven't seen my last one, I did a kettlebell workout with my friend Charles, and you can check that out. Today, I'm gonna do a full body workout. Full body workouts aren't for everyone. I actually really like doing them, especially when I'm not in a full gym. So like, if I just have a little bit of everything like this here in this small area, I'll tend to do like full body workouts. So doing a little bit of everything. I'll leave the whole workout down in the description. That way you can see exactly what I'm doing and you can do this workout on your own. Also, I just wanna say that I'm not a certified personal trainer. And so this is just like a workout that works for me and it keeps me toned and also just keeps me at the same body weight. If you're trying to cut or lose a lot of weight, um, it would be a little bit different. Or if you're a different body type or you have different, um, different goals, it, this whole full body workout might end up being very different for you, but this is just something that I do and I just wanted to show you guys, so come on. Okay, basically the different parts of my workout are cardio and then I'll do some upper body, some lower body, and then I end with core. I always like to start out with cardio because it's what gets my heart pumping and warmed up the quickest. Start out on the treadmill, you could also do an elliptical if you want. I like running, I know a lot of people don't like running and so an elliptical is also like a good alternate. Do a quarter of a mile on a 10 incline. And treadmills have different inclines, but basically I'll always like do quick start Very easy way to learn and do like quick workouts but I'll do to 3.5 speed and then I'll put the incline up you can hear it Once I'm done with 0.25 miles or a quarter of a mile then I'll bring the incline down and then I'll run at like 6.5 or 7 and it, this is all up to you like how you have to start getting into the routine where it's really going and I'll do that for the rest of the mile. So that's normally about a 10 minute cardio warm up. I'm gonna do this, so I'll see you back in 10 minutes. It's a little over, yeah, a little over 10 minutes. It's like 11 minutes. You could either do like 10 minutes or a mile, 11 minutes, and then a little over a mile. Usually after cardio, I move on to upper body. So I do two to three different exercises. I mainly because this is just what I like to do. I don't like to gain a lot of muscle in my bicep, so I'll only do one bicep workout, and then I'll actually do two tricep workouts because I like to have more definition in my triceps. First thing I'll do is bicep curls, but instead of just doing full on bicep curls, and I use 10 pound weights because it's light. But instead of just doing full on bicep curls, what I'll do I know there's a specific name for this, but I just call them sevens. Uh, that's probably not the name of it. Do seven halfway here, so all the way down, and then lifting up. So you're really working out your biceps and your forearms. I'll do seven here. So when those seven are done, I'll lift my bicep curl fully up, and then I'll do the other half, so going fully up and working my way down. This is one, then you do seven of these. And then you bring it all the way down when you're done with those seven, and you do seven full bicep curls. And the best thing to do with these is you wanna make sure your elbows aren't resting on you because it makes it easier, and that's not the greatest form. And I like to engage my core when I'm doing these so that I'm not rocking back and forth. My arms are getting a full workout when I am doing these bicep curls, and I'm not helping with my lower half of my body. I don't know how many I've done. That was five. Six. Seven. Okay. So that's one exercise that I'll do. And I'll do three sets of that. That's one part of the arm workout. Other two exercises I do for upper body when I'm doing like a full body workout like this is I'll do triceps. Take a 10, sometimes a 15. And what you're gonna do you're gonna put it behind your head or basically right on top of your head here and you're gonna dip and then bring it right back up and I do 21 of these because I just did 21 of the bicep curls just making sure that my triceps are engaged when you put it right on top of your head here you're gonna have to bring it back a little so it goes behind your back it's obviously not going straight down like this Oof, 
You will feel that right here. <laughs> Three sets of that. And then the last workout I do. So usually at a gym, you'll have like some sort of like pulley system like this. You could do a whole bunch of workouts on this all the way up to the top here. For what you latch on, these ropes here. I set this to a very lightweight. Different weights and you'll see something very similar like this at a gym or even at like a home gym or something like that. I'll set it to like either five kilograms. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stand with your knees a little bit bent and make sure this is aligned with you. You're gonna use both arms and pull down and as you're pulling down, pull out. Get that on my triceps. And I do this three sets of 21 as well. 21, a fun number that I like to use with arm workouts. It's and you'll feel as though you did a nice, quick arm workout. So now, we move on to legs. So now we're moving on to legs. Ow, oh my arms. I usually use a kettlebell, but since there aren't any kettlebells in here, I just use a free weight. Um, so I have a 15 pound free weight with me right now. Something that I basically do in my kettlebell workout video, sets of different kinds of squats. So I'll just do regular squats. So you wanna make sure that when you're squatting, your knees aren't going over, your heels aren't picking up off the floor. You wanna make sure you're not bending, um, bending out like this. You wanna make sure you're squatting down. So yeah, I'll do 20 of these, <laughs> 20 normal squats. I'll do, I'll bring my legs closer together so they're kind of right over my shoulders instead of a little further out. I'll do 20 as if you're sitting down in a chair. Again, you want to make sure your knees aren't going over your toes. So do them without the weight if you want. I'll usually just keep my arms out then. And then lastly, to get more of a workout in my inner thigh here, do the samurai squat, a nice wide stance, and then just gonna drop. These ones you could drop a little lower. I'll do 20 of these. You'll feel this in your core too. I always do. One full set, um, and I'll do those three times. And then, one more thing, I feel my thighs. The second thing I'll do is use a leg press. So set it to whatever's comfortable. I set it to 100 kilograms. The thing that I notice a lot where people will just get on the leg press and go, you wanna make sure that you're positioned right so that starting the actual leg press like too far. So like if you're already here, you don't have for like very far to go. And you wanna make sure that it's not all the weight slamming in between <coughs> or up. I'll do three sets of 10. And something else too, um, you wanna make sure you're not hyperextending your legs so you're not like pushing your knees back. So they're not fully straight, they're just like almost straight. You don't wanna like hurt your knees. Okay, so that's the leg part. And then we have one more thing to do and it's core. And it's a great way to end a workout. And then we'll be done. Ab or core equipment, and then I'll be using that. But since there's no equipment, I do a lot of planks and like side dips. So I'll time myself. This and Harry Styles Kiwi is the perfect song to do this workout to. So a one minute plank, and then on each side, I'll do 20 dips. So it's working my obliques. When you're in a plank, make sure that you know your forearms are on the ground, and when you lift up, your butt isn't too high in the air, or you're not dipping your pelvis too much. You want to make sure. Your feet are a little bit apart. You're making sure you're really feeling that in your core. And if you tighten your butt, it actually makes it harder. And I'll be in the plank for a minute. After the plank, when I do my side dip, so I do it on the right and left side, we'll just do the right for now. I wanna make sure you're lifting up. I always have one foot on the ground. And then again, forearm on the ground. 
and you want to make sure you're working your obliques. You can literally feel your obliques working when you're in this kind of plank. And you're going to dip down. You're not going to go all the way down because then it's not completing a rep. But you're going to go up here and you're going to go dip down, almost mm. all the way down, and come up and do 20 of those. Out, and I'll do that two, sometimes three times. All of your abs, both sides, getting your obliques, and then that's basically it. I'm exhausted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like it. If you do the workout, comment down below how you enjoyed the workout. If you have workouts that you can recommend for me, and if you want to see me do another workout video, any specific muscle group, anything like that, I work out in love, so I might as well record it while I work out. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I post a video every single Monday. Thanks to my dad for filming this whole time. And we're gonna go watch some football. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next Monday. Boom, boom, bye.